الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد respected viewers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope you've been praying a lot of Quran since the last time I left you today I would like to draw your attention towards a certain thing that the Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم emphasized on the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم told his Sahaba that throughout the month of Ramadan abundantly do the dhikr of لا إله إلا الله the kalima لا إله إلا الله now this kalima it comes in another hadith that is the best form of dhikr أفضل الذكر لا إله the best form of dhikr is la ilaha illallah this kalima is the distinction between iman and kufr and this kalima is the key to paradise so the prophet sallallahu told us that in this month abundantly we've got enough time in our pla- in our plates we can abundantly when we're free when we're walking around we can easily pray to the kalima of la ilaha illallah as many times as we can this kalima it comes in a hadith of abu huraira radiyallahu anhu in sahih al-bukhari hazrat abu huraira radiyallahu anhu asked that ya rasulullah man as'adu an-nas bi shafa'atika yawm al-qiyamah the O oh, Prophet of Allah, who is the person who is the who will be the most deserving of your intercession on the Day of Judgment? So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to him that O oh, Abu Huraira, the most deserving person and the lucky person, the lucky one who will be deserving my intercession on the Day of Judgment will be he who recites the kalima La ilaha illallah with complete khulus, with ikhlas and with sincerity from the depth of his heart. Once Hazrat Musa alayhi salam asked Allah that O oh, Allah, give me something, tell me, give me a kalima that I can remember you with. So Allah, he told him that remember me with the kalima la ilaha illallah so Musa alayhi salam said that ya Allah this is very general this is very common everyone remembers you with la ilaha illallah give me something more specific something more specific with me so Allah replied to him that oh Musa if you were to place all the heavens and all the earths in one side and everything it contains into one scale and this kalima la ilaha illallah into another scale then this kalima would be it will outweigh everything else on the other scale so this is the power of this one kalima my brothers so we should try abundantly ourselves and our families to recite this kalima, it comes in a hadith, Jaddidu imanakum bila ilaha illallah, that renew your iman with the kalima la ilaha illallah. Because throughout the day, we don't, sometimes we don't realize we say something which might, we probably, you know, we might end up doing kufr, something that we might have mocked a certain part of religion, we might have mocked something, something that Allah did not like. It comes in another hadith of Bukhari Sharif that, Inna al-abda la yatakallamu bil kalimati min sakhatillahi la yulqi laha baal yahwi biha fi jahannam. That a servant, he says something, he says a kalima, he does not even think of it as anything big he thinks it's something small but because of that kalima he's thrown into the depths of hell so it comes so the Absalom says Jaddidu iman bila ilaha illallah. renew your iman constantly carry on renewing your iman so that your heart will always be you know your heart cleanses itself through those sins because we can't obviously put soap and washing powder down into our hearts to clean it we have to clean it with these things that Allah and his Rasul have taught us to clean our hearts with and one of them is the kalima la ilaha illallah so may Allah give all of us the tawfiq to abundantly recite this kalima لا إله إلا الله وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين